Did you know that a healthy diabetic diet can and should include carbohydrates? But that doesn't mean you can eat a heap of high-carb foods without dealing with some very serious medical consequences. From obesity, to heart disease, to diabetes. And there are many other types of food you need to be wary of. Because they can also increase your risk of diabetes. Which food might contain 8% more carb content than its nutrition label claims? What type of fruit can easily spike your blood sugar? And the awful, no good, very bad food choice which lands in today's number one spot is not actually a food. So, what is it? We're about to discover 10 truly terrible culinary options. Especially if you are worried about your blood sugar. Some may shock you, but don't worry, because we'll also reveal a few healthy alternatives at the end of this vid. Like, subscribe, and stay tuned for three free gifts. Now, it's time to reveal the top 10 terrible foods for diabetics. Number 10. French fries. Potatoes aren't always bad for diabetics. While they are high in carbs, you can still enjoy potatoes in moderation, especially if you choose less starchy varieties, like sweet potatoes or blue potatoes. But french fries aren't your regular old potato. A typical white potato supplies about 170 calories, with 37 grams of carbs and 0 grams of fat. But a serving of french fry potatoes? That will give you a whopping 427 calories, 56 grams of carbs. And thanks to the deep frying process, it also adds 20 grams of fat, deep fried in unhealthy oils. With large helpings of added salt, the process of creating french fries can really mess with your blood sugar levels. In fact, Research indicates that deep frying foods create high amounts of toxic entities, which can lead to inflammation throughout the body and increase your risk of various diseases. It should come as no surprise then to learn that a 2016 study found that people who ate three or more servings of french fries per week had a 19% higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes. And multiple studies have found that eating fried foods in general increases the risk for heart disease. So, if you are worried about obesity or diabetes, you may want to steer clear of all fried foods. This next one probably comes as no surprise. Number 9. Prepackaged Snack Foods and Baked Goods Prepackaged snack items may seemingly make life easier, but chances are they are also making your life less healthy. Made with refined flour, loaded with carbs, typically packed with added sugar, and containing very few nutrients, most of these foods will drastically impact your glucose levels. Food corporations want their customers to love their products and come back for more. So they employ the bliss point when creating their concoctions. This refers to the point at which their product contains the perfect balance of sugar salt, and fat for it to become addictive. That's why it always seems so difficult to eat just one chip. Plus, these products tend to contain very little, if any, fiber. So it's all too easy for you to mindlessly overeat these foods without feeling the least bit full. So it's easy to see why processed, sugar-laden, Prepackaged snack foods and baked good products are one of the main drivers of today's obesity and diabetes epidemics. But before you go thinking that certain packaged snack foods look good on paper or their packaging, just know that labels can be deceiving. A recent study discovered that many snack foods actually contain 7 to 8% more carbs than their labels claim. So if you are craving a snack, remember, it's better to go for low-carb, natural options like nuts and seeds, veggies, or mozzarella cheese. Well, this next one might put a bit of a damper on your weekend plans. Number 8. Alcohol Studies have confirmed that a glass of red wine can bring you health benefits via their heart-healthy antioxidants. 
so you don't have to completely avoid alcohol. Still, when it comes to drinking, you should practice caution and restraint. Obviously, there are many reasons for this. But beyond heightening your risk for liver disease, some types of alcohol will supply large amounts of carbohydrates. Beer is especially loaded with carbs. In fact, many popular brands of beer supply between 10 and 15 grams of carbohydrates per 12 ounce serving. This means you are essentially receiving the same amount of carbs from one small alcoholic drink as you'd get with a slice of white bread. Plus, liquid sugar, unlike sugar within food, is almost immediately absorbed into the bloodstream. So drinking on an empty stomach, where your digestive system is not given any fiber or protein to slow your digestion, can raise your risk of a serious blood sugar spike. On the flip side, some drinks may actually cause a hypoglycemic reaction, meaning that it may cause your blood sugar to sink too low. How does this happen? Alcohol gets processed and metabolized in the liver, which is where diabetic medications, like metformin, are also processed. So drinking on an empty stomach or in conjunction with glucose-lowering medications can put significant strain on your liver, which could lead to a dangerous drop in your blood sugar. Therefore, when it comes to playing it safe with drinking, the key is moderation. Plus, it is best to have some amount of food with your drink. You might also want to avoid overly sweet mixed drinks or carb-heavy beers in favor of a small glass of antioxidant-rich wine. Number 7. Dried Fruit But here's the thing. Dried fruit is not the same as fresh fruit. Drying fruit concentrates its sugar content and, of course, removes its water content. So, while you might believe you are making a healthy choice, eating dried fruit may flood your system with an overload of simple sugar. For example, a cup of grapes has about 27 grams of carbs, but a cup of their dried counterpart, that being raisins, contains over 115 grams of carbs. In other words, dried fruit can triple the sugar and carb content. Of course, this does then mean that the beneficial nutrients within fruit, from inflammation-lowering antioxidants to blood sugar-balancing fiber, will be concentrated. So, if you can manage to eat a very small portion of dried fruit, you can still gain all the same health benefits you'd receive from a fresh whole fruit without skyrocketing your blood sugar. Still, your chances of a glucose spike greatly increase when you opt for dried fruit. So, it is still best to stick with low-sugar whole fruits, like apples and berries. Now, what other morning staple should you avoid? Number 6. Flavored Coffee Drinks Maybe you've heard that coffee is actually linked with a decreased risk of diabetes. In fact, the classic coffee bean has been associated with a variety of health benefits. Sadly, this doesn't include flavored coffee drinks such as those delicious pre-packaged morning treats found at the convenience store, or those fancy latte concoctions sold at coffee shops. Flavored coffee drinks are usually jam-packed with carb content and a heap of added sugars, while a typical coffee with milk and sugar can weigh in at about 30 calories. With 7 grams of total carbs, it's been reported that certain prepackaged and flavored coffee drinks can give you 150 calories, with 30 grams of total carbs. Many store-bought coffee drinks will even contain more sugar than a can of soda. And of course, these drinks supply absolutely no fiber. In other words, these drinks may take your blood sugar on a roller coaster ride without satisfying your hunger. Again, this doesn't mean you can't enjoy coffee. If you are worried about your blood sugar balance, you might want to stick with a plain old cup of joe. Don't forget to go light on the milk and added sugar. Number 5 might come as a surprise. But real quick, it's time for your free gifts. Our incredible new cookbook, Snacks, Meals, and Desserts That Lower Blood Sugar, Episode 1 of our in-depth series. That Diabetes Documentary and superfoods for diabetics. Your guide to the world's most nutritious foods. All three are yours for the taking. 
simply click the link in the description below to grab them all right away. Now, back to the list. Number five, breakfast cereals. That's right. The morning choice you were always told was part of a balanced breakfast? Well, not so much. Most of these cereals are highly processed while being very low in nutrients. They also tend to hold extremely large helpings of carbohydrates and simple sugars. In fact, it's been reported that certain popular kid-friendly cereal brands are well over 50% pure sugar. Breakfast cereals also lack protein. So a small bowl of many popular cereals could skyrocket your blood sugar. That's why many doctors and dietitians consider sugar-rich cereals to be closer to a dessert cake than a balanced breakfast food. But you might not realize this, considering that many food corporations tend to get away with advertising their products as healthy. Many cereals splash words like whole grain or low fat on their boxes. But the truth is that most of these cereals only contain small amounts of whole grains. And if they are low in fat, that usually means they house large quantities of glucose-spiking refined grains and simple sugars. However, there are still healthier cereal options available. When looking at a cereal label, make sure that it does not contain more than 5 grams of sugar per serving. And go for brands which contain at least 3 grams of fiber per serving. Now. What other supposedly healthy breakfast food may wreak havoc on your blood sugar? Number four, fruit-flavored yogurt. Fruit-flavored yogurt is definitely tempting. After all, isn't yogurt supposed to be good for your gut health and your blood sugar balance? Sure, unsweetened, less processed versions of probiotic yogurt, like Greek yogurt, can certainly give you some impressive health benefits. But flavored yogurts are made with carb-heavy, low-fat milks, and they can supply upwards of 25 grams of added sugar per 200 gram serving. In some cases, certain varieties of packaged fruit-flavored yogurt can have about 60% of their calories coming from sugar. In fact, some estimates show that flavored yogurts supply 100 calories more per serving than plain yogurt. Certain flavored yogurts may even utilize high fructose corn syrup, which can be especially detrimental to your health. This type of sugar can only be metabolized in the liver, where it is converted to fat. And as fructose is almost immediately processed inside the human body, it will not cause an insulin response. So it can be extremely easy to overeat this food without even realizing it. And animal tests have shown that regularly consuming high fructose corn syrup can damage memory and impair mental function. Plus, these types of yogurts, while high in beneficial protein, contain large helpings of unhealthy saturated fat, which can lead to increased cholesterol levels. And while less processed yogurts containing fresh fruit can lend you beneficial vitamins, minerals, and fiber, Fruit-flavored yogurts will not actually contain any real fruit or fiber. So it's best to stick with plain, unsweetened whole milk yogurt. If you want a delicious but nutritious boost, you can simply add a small handful of fresh berries or unsalted nuts. Number three, white bread, pasta, and rice. White bread, white pasta, and white rice are highly processed and very high in carbs. After all, these foods are created with white flour, which carries a high glycemic index score. And as they also contain very little, if any, fiber, overindulging in these foods will surely spike your blood sugar. Meanwhile, white flour products also tend to be high in salt. In fact, just two slices of white bread may supply about 15% of the recommended daily allotment of sodium. Also, as white flour is bleached, white bread products can contain unhealthy chemicals, which are difficult for the human body to process. And due to the growing method, certain white rice products may be contaminated with worrisome levels of arsenic. So it won't be a shock to learn that studies show that eating white rice regularly increases your risk of metabolic syndrome. In turn, that can raise your risk of heart disease and diabetes. 
with their huge sugar loads and lack of fiber. Regularly eating white bread and white flour pasta can also increase your risk of cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and obesity. And get this. Research further indicates that these foods may reduce brain function, especially in those suffering from type 2 diabetes. Instead, you should opt for true 100% whole grain products. Also, be sure to pair your bread, pasta, or rice with healthy sources of protein and fiber. This will help your body balance your post-meal glucose levels. Now, here comes the big bad of the food industry. Number 2. Trans Fat Foods Believe it or not, there is a long list of healthy fat foods which can work wonders for your blood sugar control. Stick around to the end of this video to discover which beneficial fatty foods you can and should get onto your plate. But back to trans fats. Why do food corporations use them? Trans fats extend the shelf life of packaged foods and they help to lower production costs for fast food companies. As trans fat oils, also known as partially hydrogenated oils, can be reused multiple times in deep frying. Plus, trans fats add an addictive texture and taste to foods, which ensures that you will come back for more. So you must be wondering, which store-bought foods may contain trans fats? Some examples include margarine, frozen dinners, peanut butter, creamers, crackers, donuts and muffins, and even microwave popcorn. While healthy sources of fat actually work to lower harmful LDL cholesterol, while improving levels of heart-healthy HDL cholesterol. Trans fats have the opposite effect. Research shows that they can increase LDL cholesterol while reducing levels of beneficial HDL cholesterol. So, while these fats sure are great for food companies, they are very not great for your health. Multiple studies indicate that trans fats are associated with heightened insulin resistance, increased inflammation, added belly fat, decreased levels of good cholesterol, decreased levels of good cholesterol, and impaired arterial function. Luckily, many artificial trans fats are now banned in various countries. However, you should still check food labels to make sure that you are avoiding trans fats as much as possible. Research has shown that if you replace trans fats with polyunsaturated fats, you can reduce your risk of diabetes by 40%. So make sure to stick around to the end of this vid to discover some specific healthy fat options. Now, we've reached the pinnacle of unhealthiness. Our top terrible food for diabetics isn't actually a food. It's a drink. Number 1. Sweetened Beverages Soft drinks, fruit juices, sweetened iced teas, energy drinks, and more. These highly processed beverages are loaded with simple sugars and chemical preservatives. A typical can of soda can contain 140 calories with nearly 40 grams of carbs, all of which are pure sugar. That means it will contain zero fiber. Thus, this liquid sugar will be almost instantaneously processed inside your body. So it's nearly impossible not to experience a blood sugar spike from these drinks. Most fruit juices and sweetened iced teas are no different. They contain large helpings of added sugars, with practically no fiber and very few nutrients. Multiple studies show that frequent consumption of sugar-sweetened beverages can raise the risk of obesity, heart disease, liver disease, kidney disease, and even tooth decay. Also, thanks to their sugar and caffeine content, some of these drinks can have a diuretic effect, and they may end up causing dehydration. Plus, most sweetened beverages employ that dreaded high-fructose corn syrup. As we've mentioned, Fructose as an added sugar ingredient is associated with heightened insulin resistance. And foods or drinks with fructose will increase the likelihood of a post-meal blood sugar spike. High fructose corn syrup is also linked to higher belly fat, hazardous triglycerides, and increased cholesterol levels. 
so it's no surprise to learn that soft drinks and other sugar-sweetened beverages are considered to be one of the leading drivers for the modern obesity and diabetes epidemics. It's also extremely concerning to learn that approximately 11% of the calories consumed by children currently comes from sugar-sweetened beverages. And research indicates that every 12-ounce soft drink consumed per day by minors increases their risk of obesity by 60%. So make the right choice for yourself and your children. Ditch the soda and stick with plain old water. Well, there you have it. The top 10 terrible foods for diabetics. But now, as promised, here are some excellent healthy fat foods you can include in your next meal. Try avocados, unsweetened Greek yogurt, mozzarella cheese, extra virgin olive oil, macadamia nuts, chicken, salmon, eggs, and fatty fish like salmon and tuna. So have we mentioned any of your favorite foods in this list? Comment below and check out other vids from our channel to discover more nutritious and delicious foods you can and should eat instead. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the link below for your three free gifts. Thanks for watching. Have a happy and healthy day.